The last thing, and I think one of the most important things you need to know about in relationship to your health is the recognition that your microbiome in your gut actually is an organ. People think it's like some extra thing that's really not part of us. It is part of us. It's way more than our own cells. And it's called the gut microbiome. And the significance or impact that those microbes create on your health is huge. Why the heck would we ever want to even take an antibiotic and kill them off? It's beyond me. What you have to realize is when you take an antibiotic, you will never have the same microbes ever again. A lot of these microbes never grow back. It's a lie that they told you that, oh yeah, you're just going to actually decrease the number of microbes and they're just going to come back to normal just like before. No, that's a lie. The importance of supporting the gut microbes as an organ is vital. For what? Immune protection, the neurotransmitters that are created, your mood, your cognitive function is influenced by the microbes. There's certain vitamins that are made by these microbes. A lot of your digestion is related to microbes. Your ability to get rid of cancer is related to these microbes. Your ability to sleep good is related to these microbes. And the list goes on and on and on. That's why it's so important to, on a regular basis, consume fermented foods, sauerkraut, kimchi, yogurt, and taking a very good probiotic would be very, very smart. I covered a lot of stuff in this video. I think all of it's super important, especially if you're over 50, but I would apply a lot of this information before you're 50. Start creating your health right now because health has to be created. It doesn't just automatically happen, but I've given you the key ingredients for creating health. And I think the next most relevant video for you to watch would be on the best foods to eat to create health. And for that, I put this video up right here. Check it out.